All right. I made this really cool video about building an LED grow light rig with some cheap LED lights I got. They're just cheap LED shop lights instead of using the fluorescent lights, which are like my shop lights back here. It had welding and cutting and, and a great opening, and um, I lost half the footage. Uh, I deleted the memory card somehow. I've been sitting on this for a while, and my executive producer, Jimmy, is like, uh, when are we going to see that video? And Garden Fork, it's done is better than perfect, and we keep the mistakes in. And this was a big mistake because uh, I deleted the computer card. So imagine this really cool opening with cutting and stuff and me talking like I am now, but I'm talking about a grow light. So this is part of the finished grow light. The other part is on the ground there. It's too heavy for me to lift. So um, here we go. Make, fix, grow, cook. Garden fork. Yesterday was the warm day, so I had to clean up from sap season, but um, let's go in the garage. Does your garage look like mine? I get overwhelmed and then I don't know what to do, but right now we're gonna make our grow light. Okay, I can hear again. So the plan here is uh, I've been grinding off the paint off my scrap metal. This is a mattress frame. Did I say that already? So wherever you're going to be doing your flux core welding, which is what we're going to do, and I'm an amateur flux core welder, okay? That could be good or bad. Wherever you're going to be flux core welding, you have to remove the paint so you're down to clear metal and use a grinding wheel on your right angle grinder, aptly named. I need to make this to be a rectangle here, so we're going to measure the opposite corners, but also we're going to use these little magnets in the corners, and we're going to tack weld with the magnets in place so it holds the metal together, then remove this and do the full weld. If you do the full weld while this is in place, the heat from the welder can demagnetize your magnet, and then it's not a very good magnet, is it? By the way, I just got these uh, reader, these safety glasses that have reading glass things down in the bottom. And um, I'm still getting used to it here. But um, yeah, so we're going to square the rectangle this out, square it out here. Put these in, tack weld, off we go. So the magnets are covering up where I want to do the little tack weld. So um, I'm going to go to plan B. I'm going to square it with my tape measure and just hold it down, tack weld. Tack weld, tack weld, and then go back and do the foot weld. Okay. Okay, welding gloves. Um, I need to get a welding vest, safety goggles on, and then my welding helmet. I'm all set. Okay, so maybe welding on a wooden table isn't the smartest idea, but um, I don't know. They work, right? I'll raise it off the wood floor now, okay? Wood table. I keep get, I keep get, I can't talk. I keep getting interrupted um, in our project here, so I'm sorry. So this is day three. We're this close to finishing the welding, so let's go.
I don't know, I'm very excited by the welding, so if you just indulge me with the slow motion welding video, I'm just, I'm getting pretty, I think I'm getting okay at it. I'm not great, but, all right, so we need something to hold the grow light over our frame, and I thought I would notch a piece of this so it basically sits like this, and then the grow light will be at the top of this. I gotta notch this so it'll sit in here. I mean, we could put it on like this, but I don't think that would be, um, I guess that would work. But I think this, if I notch this, it'll be stronger. So I'll just cut this, cut, we'll cut a notch. That's what we're gonna do. These magnets are pretty cool for welding. They'll hold things at a right angle or just clamp it. done welding. I'm really, I'm really happy with how this came out. I can't talk. Let me do this again. I'm really happy with this. Um, please, thank you for indulging me with the slow motion welding video. But um, the frame is built. I've got the uprights here. We're going to hang the light. Let's go down into the wood shop, build a platform, throw the lights on, see what happens. Okay. Okay, I've managed to clear enough space in the shop here uh, to do the final put together. That was graceful, wasn't it? So these are our LED shop lights. The challenge here is to put these together like this and then hang them over plants. And uh, I have a rough idea. Let's see if it works. So I want these together like this. And right in between the two tubes, this is sheet metal. There's nothing in the fluorescent ones would be like, you know, wires and electronics there. So I could put these two together. So my thought was have them, they're facing down toward the lights. I would connect them with a piece of wood. This is some scrap plywood I had between them. Screw, screw. This is a self-tapping screw, wrong way. Um, goes through, we're gonna go through the wetl, gonna go through the, gonna go through the wood, and then into the metal, and we'll connect the two together, and we'll hang on. connected nicely. So I cut a piece of scrap plywood that's going to lay in here and then I'm just going to again using the self-tapping screws go through this into the frame hold it in. So the uh, mattress frame the recycled steel we're using for the frame is pretty thick so um, maybe I could drill a pilot hole that would go better. Screws are in. I welded, uh, these are pegboard hooks I had laying around, and I just welded them to the top of the riser, and this light and the chain will hook onto that. I think that's beautiful. I really, um, it came out really well. Even though I erased the memory card, the project is a success. Man, is that bright. Um, in a future video, we're going to compare the fluorescent lights with the LED strip lights and see what kind of power they put out, what kind of color temperatures, that kind of thing. It'll be very interesting. Right here should be floating some other videos. You can also sign up. I put out an email newsletter every week. There's a link below to sign up for that as well. In the, you got to click on the text down arrow and in there there's 
all sorts of information about Eric's world. So let me know your thoughts, comments, questions, always good down below. All right, see ya.